rocks till you grab. When the kids are gone for literally two seconds. All right, hi guys. It's Friday, April 10th. We just dropped our children off at grandma's house because we are gonna go do some fun things. I've been waiting for this day. I'm so excited. I don't know why, because it's like, it's not that exciting, but I feel like it is exciting when you're an adult things just get exciting that weren't exciting when you were a child, like buying a washer and dryer for your new house. That's what we're going to do. Um, there's a really good deal going on at Lowe's right now. And although we aren't moving for like, oh, like less than a month, like three weeks at this point, I think it is. Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks exactly, I think. Yeah. Um, the sale at Lowe's, it's like 30% off. Oh, it's a really good deal. It ends on the 15th. So we're just going to buy it and then have it... Um, delivered and stuff why is my car in sport there we go delivered um whenever we move because we can do that and then we're gonna go look at a couch i have my eye on this couch at big lots and i think that big lots are actually still open they're considered essential we might not be able to sit on it people are being worried about sitting on things oh yeah like the they have, like caution tape and stuff they probably will but like i might just like break through it a little scoot scoot sit and get up really quick I don't know. We're just gonna. We're just looking at the options. We need to find like a couch, a gray sectional. I asked you guys on Instagram. A lot of you guys said for like an affordable one that's still good quality. A lot of you guys said Big Lots, um, Value City Furniture, which the couch we have now is actually from Value City. And it's hold. It's held up for quite some time actually. It's held up for like six years. That couch. Um, it's starting to get a little. But we neglect that couch. Honestly, we do a lot of things on that couch. Anyways, you also said Ashley Furniture, but I think Big Lots actually sells Ashley Furniture. And then Wayfair. The only problem with Wayfair is that I'm just like scared to order online, but we're kind of in the situation where like none of the stores are open to sit on the couches. And I don't know, we might just wait and be couchless upstairs. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad because I'm like, Yeah, because we have a couch. We have the couch down. We'll have it downstairs. You're just going to look at that empty space every day and you're not going to do it. <laughs> Do what? You're not gonna wait. Well, so yeah, knowing no how I am, I'll just be impulsive and be like, that's it. I'm just ordering one off of Wayfair and I'm going for it. Yeah. I don't know. I've gotten a lot of opinions though, and it's like, I swear, all of you guys that I asked on Instagram, like, I've had over like hundreds of messages from you guys about the sectional you have, and a lot of you guys say, like, oh, I have one from Big Lots and it's great, or oh, I have one from Big Lots and it sucks, or oh, I got one from Wayfair and it came in like a million different pieces and broke, or. I got one from Wayfront, I love it. So it's like, I swear it's like 50-50. All right, I switched over to my phone because we're not bringing my big camera in there. But um, we're gonna go into Big Lots. Why am I shaking? We found the couch. It's gonna be firm at first. It's very firm. Like it's gonna be firm because it's... I mean... This chair's comfy though. It has an ottoman that goes with it. And it also has this and like, this is comfy. I sat in it. I love my mom's um, recliner. Like, I live in it. Be the judge of this. It's not as comfy as my mom's, but it's comfy. Don't you think so? It's a lot more comfier than the couch is. Okay, here's my reaction. I think it's comfy. These are comfy, the back those, cushions. Yeah, are really These are pretty firm. Yeah. But they're not horrible. These? Like firm bottoms and soft backs. Yeah. You like that one better? No. Wait, isn't this the same one? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, this is called the Tripoli Tripoli sectional. It's kind of oh and it has that, Patrick. That's what I was talking about. This is the one that I was showing you that you said you didn't like the look of it. See it matches up right so, like, there. What do you ever do with this area? Um somebody could sit there. You lay, snuggle party, oh, the whole family, snuggle party. And then there's even room for more snuggle party. I'm not a fan of this color, but then I also kind of don't mind this color because it's darker. This is the the other couch um, that we actually like. We like this one better because it has, um, it's bigger. Was it bigger? It's the one we looked at first. I think the only difference is that there's no bottom here. This is what's bigger. Yeah, so it has this. I think this is called a chase. It has the chase, which is nice because you can if lay. If you did get this, it wouldn't come with the stool thing. Right, and it doesn't. It doesn't. It be ordered separate. Oh yeah, you know what? You can get the ottoman though with it. Yeah, well, we would have to buy it. Yeah. I don't think it's obviously that much difference in price. 
Yeah, so you can get the ottoman with this, but it has the chase. That's like part of the, the couch, like it comes with it. And we also like the darker gray than the lighter gray, because I think it'll look better in that room. I like these pillows. We have a lot of too. bright colors already. Yeah, Maybe like darker colors. The, the paint is this light gray. The carpet's light gray. Aren't the walls white? I think they're like a... Anyways, they're bright. Yeah, they're like a really light gray that they're almost white. You guys... We finally decided where we're putting the couch. No, we didn't. We actually just had like I've an decided argument. where we're putting the couch. <laughs> we just sat on this couch and it had like, how long was that? Like 15 minutes? I don't know. Because we're looking at pictures. You guys will see when I do the house tour. Are like the layout of the house. And you'll see why mine's better. No. My idea is better. Yours is a fire hazard. Yours is just stupid. I'm on a bicycle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it just is. Anyways, um, we found this other. You know what's stupid and, and impractical? A fire hazard. It's not Patrick. Or a foot of space in between <sighs> Dude, your couch. Dude, I and cannot the wall. wait to like share with you guys Actually, what I'm talking like about, feet. so that everyone else can agree with me. That's funny. And then I'll show you all the everyone else's agreements, so that you can see that I'm right. <laughs> Mine is a better idea. They have a lot like here, so. This one's too small. We looked at this one. Yeah, we literally looked at three. This is actually the one we argued we on. Three couches and had a 15 minute debate. Yeah. We're, We're getting somewhere day. though. <laughs> you guys, Patrick is beefing with me today. Literally. Hey, He's so problematic. Let me just say that there is no problem with giving somebody your opinion, especially as a guy. Okay, guys, we are getting, um, <laughs> shoved down in society by women what? you're making it sound like i have you like on a leash well no but it's just when it comes to things that women usually do like decorating a house no, like, no. patrick okay i have been very fair with him and you better we have, say we both have, I yes i i'm i'm not like that i don't live my life like women do this and men do that i'm completely not like that yeah. at all and i it's i'm gonna say it has been a struggle because Obviously, this is like our home that we are both buying together. Just think about it this way. By the end, we'll be both happy. Right. But it's just, it's a little bit hard because I've liked certain things that he doesn't. And I'm like, well, why don't you like them? And then he likes certain things that I don't. But we're still, like, it's like we have to go through like a little bit of an argument to be able to find like what we both like. Like we had in like an argument on Barstool's. It's not an argument. Like we're not actually mad at each other. We're just bickering. We're just talking about it. Yeah, we're just talking and getting a little, like, spicy with each other. But that's just how we are. But, um, yeah, that is just how we are. <laughs> we, he can debate. No hard feelings. He can debate <laughs> for days about anything. <laughs> anything he can debate about. Like, you do not want to get into a debate with him because he won't ever, like, he won't, there won't be an end to it. And he well, there like, will be when I win. Yeah, he has to win and he has to be right and it has to be his way. Anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> Not every time. I mean, I will stop. It, it could be the stupidest thing ever. Like, so stupid. I don't even know. But you know what? I like, why are so Wendy's cookies like so good? He'd be like, well, you know what? They make, like, you know, the chocolate chips out of, like, a deluxe. cut the chocolate chunks and put them in the cookie when they make them. Yeah. And, see they're almost and like then I'd go, well, how do you know that, Patrick? And he goes, what do you mean? I just know I can tell. You can tell by looking at the cookie. They totally mix the chocolate with the cookie at the store. See, this is how this is what I mean. He goes way too into detail. Joke, but I have no idea. But yeah, but that's, that's an example. example. That's an example of how he is. It drives me crazy, but like, I love him for who he is. So, it's okay. I've gotten used to it. It makes me smart. Anyways. Sometimes. Anyways, yeah, we def we finally decided the other day on what bar stools we're gonna get. Um, after like a couple days of just being like, what about these ones? No, ew, those are ugly. Oh my gosh, what about these? I want these ones. No, those are stupid. And then we found these ones that we really love. So that's cool. We are not going to get a couch from here because the first, the lighter gray couch, we really like that couch, but we wish it came with a chase so that you could lay. And then we also wish it came in a darker gray. And then that one that we said that we did like with the chase and it was like a darker gray, we actually decided we didn't like it because it just wasn't that comfy. It wasn't comfy, really. I kind of was, but then the more we like sat in it and looked at it, we were like, oh, we don't really like this. If we're gonna, the other one just wasn't it. Yeah, the other one was comfier. I really wish that first one came in a dark gray with the chase and the ottoman. That would have been perfect. And that one was bigger too. And we have a pretty big space to fill. 
So I want to make sure we get like a big enough couch that doesn't look stupid. Like we don't want this small couch in this big room. Um, so we're just going to look somewhere else. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Patrick's rushing me, but we're at Lowe's and we have to wait in line to get in because that's what they're doing now. They're not letting it, uh, a lot of people in the store at a time. So there's the line. <laughs> You guys, I was trying to dance to the car alarm out there, and as soon as Patrick got the camera out to record it, it turned off. I was very triggered. Anyways, we first thing we're looking at are mowers because we are going to need a lawnmower to mow our new yard. We are first time lawnmower buyers. This is gonna be uh, Patrick's Father's Day birthday gift, okay? Yeah. That's what this is gonna be for you. Are you looking at the colors? I feel like you're literally looking at these and you're thinking they're all red. So you don't like them. I mean, dude, they are. Oh my gosh, Patrick, that does not matter. All right, we're going to buy our washer now, our washer and our dryer. We are going with this. We're actually getting, it's the Samsung. I don't know what it's called, but it's this. We're actually getting the bigger version. Are you gonna get white or black? What would black look like, like this? Yeah, probably. It just would be a regular black. I like black. Probably black. Yeah, but anyways, it's so big. Look at, oh, well, hold on. That's, that's not how big it is. I'm gonna show you how, how big it is. This is just not the color, but that's not the right one either. Okay, this is how big it is. It doesn't have a metal compartment, so like, look at all the clothes you can fit in there. So we're gonna get this, this one in black and then the matching yeah, dryer. So like, this is something that you gotta notice here. Yeah, how it catches. That is nice. So you don't don't just shove it down. Yeah, you can just let it go. That one doesn't have any magic powers, but I really like this color, this bronze color. But they're two hundred dollars more a piece than the black or white ones, and I just don't see that as worth it. That's probably some like function. This is yeah. Where you put all the stuff. Yeah, that's why it's more. This one's just better, but like that's so unnecessary. All right, so bad news. They actually aren't gonna have the washer and dryer we want for like, I think she said it's gonna take two to three months for them to like come from the warehouse. I don't know what she said, they come from a different country. So we decided to go with this other one because they have them in stock and they'll be able to get them to us and like by the time that we move out. Instead, we're gonna go with these. The price point is actually a little bit cheaper, but it's the same concept. It's big, it's open. This is just by GE and then it's a huge dryer too. So it's the same size. Um, it's just a different brand and a different look. But we don't want to go like months without a washer and a dryer. <laughs> it hurts, I know. That was me the other day when I was writing my check for uh, this taxes. I was just like, I'm just <laughs> literally. <laughs> we made it into the light section because our house has a light fixture in the dining room that we don't really like and it needs to be changed. Um, what do you see? You're eyeing something. Ooh, that that one's cool. One. That like wood one right there. That's like a spot, like a ball. Yeah, that's really that's cool. Kinda... That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we found a perfect light. I'm literally dead. Patrick actually spotted this one first. And then Dude, I, I spotted it a mile away. Yeah, and then I said it. He's like, that's the one I like too, which is perfect. No argument there, but it's this light. We'll show you guys it. Let's show it hanging. Cute. So it's right here. Look at it. It's so pretty. I don't remember what that orb sphere thing is called, but it looks nice. I like it. I really like it. I think it looks almost like science-y. <laughs> looks like an atom. It's going to go in the dining room and it's going to go really good with like the dining room table. I think it'll look really good. Yeah, no, definitely. And I'm getting it today because I'm not dealing with coming back and I'm not having it. Or ordering like online. the washer and dryer. Right, like our washer and dryer we wanted. So I'm like, I'm going to snag it today and just keep it on our shelf. Hi, baby. Oh, there's Sissy. Where'd you come from? It's like she knew we were getting Hazel up, Patrick. So she ran in here. Yeah, me too. Hold on. Let Daddy get her. Gigi, what did you do with Grandma? I threw Grandma laundry and the reason why I wanted to do laundry. You did laundry? <laughs> That's funny. Guess what? Mommy and Daddy just bought a washer and dryer for our new house. No, no, no. For our basement. No, 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 no. I'm going to go our house first. And then, oh. 
don't know why she just got so offended. Hazel. Hi, Hi baby. Hi. Did you nap so good? Yeah. It must be the swing. Hazel was napping in Gigi's old swing from when she was a baby. Yeah. We had this in um my mom's basement the other day. She just brought it out because we don't have anywhere to really put um Hazel. We're on our way home now. I have to sit in the front seat with our <laughs> light because with the girls back there, the box doesn't fit. And then the stroller in the trunk, the box doesn't fit. Are you so excited for our new house? Yeah. Are we going to have a basement? In a garage? In a backyard? Yeah. Yeah. And toys in there. And toys. Yeah, we're gonna have toys in the basement, right? Thank you. I left my phone inside my mom's house. But your son's really excited about the fact that we're gonna have a back a backyard, a big backyard, a basement, and a garage. And the toy room. And the toy room, yeah. She really um she really has a thing for like basements and going downstairs and upstairs we have both so that's cool yeah new house. yeah you remember our new house yeah you so excited yeah yeah so we our new house yeah. we can't see it until we get the keys yeah we'll see it again we'll look at pictures though okay But she did just get an Easter basket from her aunt, Stephanie. Right? Patrick's sister just came by and she just brought Grace Lynn. Yeah, you may see. They go like M&M's. Brought Grace Lynn an Easter basket with some of her That's favorite candy. They're like M&M's. They're, they're like Reese's M&M's. Can you go get a bowl? We legitimately have not done anything today. But sit on our booties. I'm actually just about to cook some. I, I don't even know what it is. It's a late lunch, early dinner because it's about to be 4 o'clock. All the eating times are just weird right now. Make some potatoes and some burgers. These are just frozen ones right now, but they, honestly, they're kind of better. <laughs> Graceland's dinner. She's going to be having a turkey and cheese sandwich, some grapes, some strawberries, and a uh, go-gurt. trouble. No, you were just in trouble, yes, because you would not be quiet when I was trying to talk to Daddy on the phone. And here is mine. Burgers, super yummy, and I have my delicious potatoes. Does anyone else dip potatoes in steak sauce and ketchup? I love steak sauce. I also put, um, steak sauce on my burger too. Patrick just ran to pay a bill that he forgot he had to pay and then um, we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the night. That's pretty much it, so. <gasps> Ooh, is that for me? Yeah. Why is there chocolate in it? I ordered it just like you said. What is that? I, think that's, I mean, it looks good, I but like that's... coffee, but I no, because the coffee's the... at the top. I'm gonna try it. I mean, whatever, but it's a weird flex McDonald's. <laughs> I just forgot that, um, like businesses are okay. Well, you didn't know that non essential places aren't open. I didn't know that it was closed. It didn't really click in my head because I pay the bill once a month. Well, it didn't click in my head either, so whatever. But anyways, he just basically went out to get me coffee, even though that was not the mission. McDonald's, like, put chocolate on this. I'm so confused. And they whipped cream. Like, they don't ever do that, so. I feel like he didn't order the right thing. Did you say exactly what I said on the text? Yeah. You are, like, way too triggered about this McDonald's incident. I mean, I'll drink it, but this is definitely not the right thing. 
Thanks, babe. Love you. Love you so much. I'm sorry you're mad about the McDonald's line. That's a little bit more than that, but okay. If any of you guys have been watching my past couple vlogs where I show my dirty stove, but I never clean it, neither of us ever clean it. We've just been ignoring it for like weeks. And I think part of the reason is because we're moving. So like, you know, like when you're kind of like, okay, we're not gonna be here. So like, I should really care, <laughs> but it's getting disturbing. So here's a moment for the books. I'm gonna finally clean the stove. Oh, I know. to take the girls outside and it's like it's not like freezing but it's like 50 so I know she'll be all warm in this cute little in this cute little like baby bear outfit hi Hazel you're so cute this is like super thick and it has like covers for their hands it covers all the way down to the feet it's a little bit big on her but this was actually um Graceland's. I don't even think I ever used it for Graceland. I bought it thinking I would. I think I bought it to wear like when we went out in the winter, but like I just never did because it was a little too thick for like the car seats. But she looks so cute and Hazel's gotten some use out of it, right? Whenever we go outside and it's a little chilly, we just throw this on Hazel. Look at this baby bear. What? Patrick's a pineapple. All right, I'm currently in my shed. I have officially started to declutter for moving. The first day, I dragged the Mamaru out. I listed that just to give it away because it was given to me. I listed a couple rugs I have shoved in here that I just I need I just need to get rid of them. And now I'm going through this bin of clothing I have that um was given to me when I had Gracelyn. It was just like hand-me-downs and she never wore it. And I'm just sorting through it to see if there's anything that I want to keep for Hazel. I found these really cute uh, overalls and they're 12 months so they should fit her this summer. And this one, oh my gosh, it's vintage Oshkosh. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Uh, I actually think this was my sister Kaylee's when she was a baby because it does say, um, I think it says Kaylee on it, like a K, and my mom did that for all of our baby clothes. She wrote like our initials. And then I also found um, some like shorts for Hazel because she does need more shorts. And I found this really cute striped sweater that would probably fit her right now. What, honey? My well, why didn't you go with daddy? Patrick went on a walk and he obviously has Hazel. And Graceland didn't want to go. Why are you whining? They're gone because Daddy went on a walk. Can I have a bar? A what? You want a ball? No, no, the bar. The bar? A granola bar? What the heck? Sure. Go inside and get one, honey. Just go get one. Okay. Anyways, the rest of this stuff I'm just going to go through, and then I'm just gonna um. I'm just gonna give it all away. I'm just gonna give it all away because I don't have time to mess around and this stuff was given to me anyway. So, you know, keep it going. Just pass it along and help someone who's in need.
somehow done in the shed. I actually dropped my camera. When I got my new camera, when did I say how long? Let's see how long it will take before I drop this camera. I think I've had this camera for like, I don't know, maybe a month probably, less than a month, I'm not sure, but I dropped it when I was out there and it's all muddy. So sorry if the quality is a little bad because there might be mud on the lens and I could have potentially broke the camera. But anyways, I got basically everything I wanted to get done. I got all the stuff that I was going to donate. I still need to go through two smaller boxes of in there of like decor I had from like my apartment and picture frames and stuff that I just like never hung up here. Um, and just go through that and make sure I want to keep that. But basically everything else besides those two little boxes in there is sorted through and it's all stuff that we will be taking to the new house. All of Graceland's, what? Okay, you're just staring at me. Is there a reason? No. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Just watching. You're just watching me? Yeah. <laughs> All of Graceland's stuff I can't. Uh, Patrick's just staring at me with like this weird look on his face. It's like watching a video. It's like watching a video? I have all of Graceland's clothes in there. Like all those big tubs in there are her clothes that I saved and I'm really glad I saved them because now I have another girl who's gonna grow up and eventually be in 2T, 3T, 4T, 5T. I saved all the shoes, everything, you name it. It's all in there. So I will be continuing to keep all that stuff for Miss Hazelbug when she gets into it. I'm super happy that I got that done because that was like the first start to like getting ready to move and decluttering and stuff. I'm gonna make my next mission probably Hazel's room because I can basically take apart Hazel's whole room and it doesn't really matter because she doesn't really use it. She does sleep in her crib. She has started to sleep in her crib. I actually started her last night and she did a really great job. I did not fall asleep till 4 a.m. and I think it's because I had anxiety about it. Do you know I'm talking about you? <gasps> She did a really good job though um, last night. I didn't think it was gonna be a problem. It was just more so like on my end of feeling comfortable with it, but she has just, she's rolling in that and she can't be sleeping in that anymore because she's started to roll and that's just not safe when they can roll in the bassinet. So it's just sitting there because I need to get rid of it before we move. So I plan to vlog and make videos of this whole process because I did ask you guys if you wanted to see like organizing and decluttering and packing and moving vlogs and all that and you guys said for sure. I think I had like 96% of you guys say yes to that. So definitely be on the lookout for those because those vlogs will definitely be coming. It's so dark in here, you can't really see. Look at her go! <laughs> What is going on in here? Yeah, I'm not even like holding her up. Ah. <laughs> Hazel, what are you doing? Uh. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> you got the hiccups. <laughs> ah. It's kind of hard for her to talk. <gasps> she gets so excited. What? You're so excited? I feel like she is gonna watch, um, like, possibly before one. 100%. I don't know, I just feel like she's With like... me? Clearly, like, way before one. Like, we're talking like seven, eight Oh my old. gosh, Patrick, babies don't walk then. I've experienced it myself, so whoever says that can shove it up their Hi, my name is Patrick, my baby's five months old, and she Hazel's can walk. a little thick though, so it might be an extra mom to gain that extra muscle to lift herself up. But we're practicing. He said, I'm chunky, but I can do it. <laughs>